If you love strawberries, then you will fall in love with this fluffy homemade strawberry cake. This cake is a combination of vanilla and strawberry sponge, paired with strawberry reduction and rich creamy white chocolate buttercream. I am so excited to share this fun and delicious recipe with you today. Hey guys, I'm Chef Aruna from Truffle Nation Baking Academy, where we help aspiring bakers just like you to become professional bakers and run your own successful business. So before we begin the recipe, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and have hit the bell icon so that you can stay updated with all our upcoming videos. Without wasting more time, let's make the first element for the cake and that is strawberry reduction. For this, we'll add frozen strawberries to a heavy bottom pan. Along with lemon juice, sugar and salt. Here I am using frozen strawberries, but you can also use fresh strawberries if you have. We will cook this until it's reduced by half over low heat. We will blend it and let it cook until it thickens up. So basically if you have 400 grams of strawberries, we'll reduce it until only 200 gram remains. So we are done with the strawberry reduction. We will transfer it to a bowl and keep it aside for later use. Now let's move on to the making of our strawberry sponge. We'll first prepare our tins. We will grease it with oil, then we'll place a sheet of butter paper at the bottom. Now, in this bowl, we'll add egg yolk, followed by salt and vanilla essence. We'll give this a mix, then keep it aside. In a different bowl, we'll make meringue by beating egg whites along with cream of tartar. Adding cream of tartar helps in stabilizing the tiny bubbles in the egg whites by preventing the egg proteins from sticking together. It also speeds up the whipping process and provides a glossy and stable meringue. Then start adding sugar in three parts. We'll beat it until we get a soft peak. We'll now fold in our yolk mixture into this. Now, in a different bowl, we'll mix oil, milk and strawberry reduction that we made earlier. One drop of red gel color and give it a mix. We'll add this to the meringue yolk mixture and mix it using cut and fold method. Now we'll sieve in all-purpose flour and give it a final mix to get a smooth and lump-free batter. If you're wondering why haven't we added any rising agent in this recipe, it's because we have used meringue which will lift the sponge up. Now we'll pour this batter to the prepared drink and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Now let's make our second sponge that is vanilla sponge. The method is same as the strawberry sponge one, the only difference is that we won't be adding strawberry reduction to it.
So our batter is ready. We'll bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, both of our sponge is baking, we'll make our next element that is strawberry crunch. For that, in a mixer grinder, we'll grind freeze-dried strawberries and shortbread cookies together. In this, we'll add melted butter and mix to get a crumb-like texture. So all the elements for the recipe are ready, we'll move on to the assembly of the cake. Our sponge are baked and has completely cooled down. We'll demold it and slice it in half using a cake leveler. Now let's start the crumb coating process. On a cake base, pipe some buttercream and spread it. Now we'll place a vanilla sponge. We'll soak it with simple vanilla soaking syrup, which I made by simply mixing water and vanilla extract. We'll pipe the buttercream over the sponge and smooth it out using a band pellet knife. We'll pipe buttercream around the edges as well. Now we'll spread strawberry reduction in the center, then place a strawberry sponge. And repeat the same process as before until you get 4 layers of sponge. Now we'll pipe a thin layer of buttercream all over the top and the sides of the cake. For the frosting, I'm using my white chocolate buttercream recipe, link for which you can find in the description area below. We'll keep it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. Our cake is out of the fridge. Now we'll pipe thick layer of buttercream all over the cake and smooth out using a pellet knife or a scraper. Once the cake is fully covered, we'll gently coat the sides with strawberry crunch. You will want to do this while the buttercream is still sticky. 
If it's too cold, the crunch will have a harder time sticking to the cake. Now I'll place the cookie cutter at the top, then sprinkle strawberry crunch inside the cookie cutter. Now I'll pipe dollops of buttercream around the top edge using 1M nozzle and place strawberries on each dollops. Here you go guys, our strawberry crunch cake is ready to go. Hope you guys really like this recipe and do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new recipe.